From the News Channel 5 Network, hi everyone, I'm Rory Johnston. Here are your latest headlines. An argument between a clerk and a customer ended with a shooting at this O'Reilly Auto Parts store on Rosa L. Parks. Police say after the argument, the customer left, came back with a friend. That customer's friend approached the store with a shotgun. That is when the clerk grabbed a gun, shot the customer's friend in the chest. He was taken to Vanderbilt where he's being treated. That employee is not facing charges. President Trump announced today that all Boeing 737 MAX 8 and 9 planes are now grounded. This announcement follows Sunday's crash of the same type of plane on an Ethiopian Airlines flight, which killed all 157 on board. Dozens of flights across the U.S. are now being rebooked to accommodate the grounding. I-24 is now reopened following that landslide near Old Hickory Boulevard on February 21st, that first, third rather, that blocked the roadway. The eastbound lanes have been temporarily widened around the site. Two lanes of traffic can get by while crews continue working on permanent repairs, which should take two to three months to complete. And the SEC basketball tournament kicked off tonight at Bridgestone Arena. Tonight was the first round games. Mizzou topped Georgia in the first game. The second game is Texas A&M versus Vanderbilt. Tomorrow's game start at noon. It's Arkansas against Florida. All the teams except today's losers, as well as Kentucky, Tennessee, LSU, and South Carolina, they'll be in action tomorrow. You can still buy uh, tickets, we're told, on StubHub. All right, we are tracking some stormy weather. Here's Bree. Yeah, unfortunately, a couple rounds of it. So Storm 5 Alert is in effect for Thursday, and there are two rounds of storms associated with this system. The first comes during the overnight hours when most folks are sleeping between midnight and 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Second round comes when you're just trying to get around during the afternoon, lunchtime through the evening commute on Thursday. So stay weather aware in the morning and to end your day. 62 overnight tonight. The story of this is really not temperatures will stay very mild and warm. This heat just fueling those storms. Wind is the big part of the story. It'll be windy all day long tomorrow. Sustained winds around 30 to 35, gusting to 45, and then embedded within the thunderstorms that come through will be some locally higher wind gusts. An isolated tornado cannot be ruled out as well, so make sure you keep the Storm 5 weather team very close.